Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Adam from allstreamedup.com. In today's video, we are going to take a look at airdata.com and one of the coolest features there for drone pilots. And of course, airdata is not specific to just DJI. It also supports Autel and Skydio drones as well as other manufacturers. So that's really great for all drone pilots. And if you are a drone pilot and you aren't using air data, I highly recommend it. And it can be used free for up to 100 flights. The most prominent and handy feature in air data is the ability to sync your flight logs from your drone. And it's a single place for all your drone flight data. And best of all, it's automatic. So it makes it super handy if you are interested in looking at your flight data. Now with a DJI drone, make sure you have turned on auto sync in your fly app settings for this to work. If you don't want to use that feature, then this may not be for you. And I understand some pilots have privacy concerns around that. So it's completely up to you. So log into air data and get your flight synced up. And let's take a look at my favorite features of air data, a feature that can often be overlooked. So let's get into it. Okay, so once you're logged into air data, you're gonna see this is your dashboard. And we're gonna wanna head over to my logs and then under flights. So here you have another dashboard where it shows all of your flight data. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select one of our flights on the left here. And there you have some information about the flight, such as the drone that was used and the flight time, etc., And a little map showing the flight path of your drone. So underneath the map, you'll notice that there is a download uh, links to several files. So starting on the far right, if we download this original, it's gonna show you a bunch of data, which I think is encoded. And so it's not very useful for us. So next to the left of that, there is a CSV file. So let's go ahead and download that, which I've already done. And once you have it in your downloads folder, you'll see it right here. And then just go ahead and double click it and it will probably open in a spreadsheet. In the spreadsheet, just open up all the way, you'll notice that there's lots and lots of data. In fact, in this spreadsheet alone, if we go all the way down to the bottom, we're gonna notice that there are almost 6,000 records in the bottom left here. Going from the top across, you'll see it includes almost if not every piece of data that your drone's gonna record. So date and time, latitude, longitude, altitude, uh, height, it has speed even, number of satellites, GPS level, there's battery data. Um, it will even show you the speed on your different accesses, your compass heading, and some more information all the way across, which you can see and review on your own, but it's a lot of data. It even starts at motor start through to takeoff. Every single one of your joystick maneuvers that you can see over here at the very right. And so then there's just lots of joystick maneuvers all the way down until the very end of your flight which should have something like confirmed landing. And so that's the entire flight in a CSV file. So information rich. This is where you're gonna get your data that you absolutely need. Now that we have reviewed the CSV file and seen that it contains all of the data we would ever need, why do we need this? Let's review some of the benefits of using air data benefits of syncing flight logs with air data. Number one, centralized data storage. Air data automatically stores all of your drone flight logs in one secure location, ensuring that you have access to every detail from your past flights without worrying about manual backups. Number two, comprehensive flight analysis. It provides in-depth metrics on battery health, GPS signals, flight duration, altitude, speed, and more helping you track your drone's performance over time. Number three, automatic maintenance alerts. Air data notifies you of potential maintenance issues, example, battery wear, motor performance, 
before they become major problems, improving drone safety and extending its lifespan. Number four, enhance safety reports. The platform generates detailed safety reports that can highlight errors or risky flight patterns, helping you adjust your piloting skills for safer operations. And number five, compliance and legal documentation. Air data helps you maintain detailed flight records, which is particularly useful for commercial drone pilots who need to comply with regulatory requirements like Transport Canada, the FAA, etc. Benefits of using KMZ files from air data and Google Earth. Number one, visualize flight paths. Importing KMZ files into Google Earth allows you to see your flight path overlaid on a high-resolution 3D terrain, offering a clearer understanding of your flight environment. Number two, analyze flight data in context. By viewing your flight path in relation to landmarks, obstacles, and terrain in Google Earth, you can better assess flight performance and safety, as well as prepare for future flights. And number three, post-flight review and adjustments. With KMZ files, you can closely examine specific points along your flight path, helping you identify areas for improvement in flight planning and execution. Number four, client reporting. If you're doing commercial work, KMZ files make it easy to share detailed visual representations of your flight with clients, adding transparency and professionalism to your work. Number five, pre-flight planning. You can use Google Earth and the KMZ flight data for precise pre-flight planning by analyzing previously flown routes, ensuring safer and more efficient operations for upcoming missions. By combining air data with Google Earth, you can view your flight data in a visual format. So now let's check out this newly found superpower. So let's head back over to air data and this time on that same flight, we're gonna download the GPX file and we're gonna download the KML file. And once you've downloaded those files, open up Google Earth. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to go to the file menu and you're gonna click open. And you're gonna go ahead and locate that KML file in your downloads folder and you're going to click open and you'll see on the left it's under temporary places it's going to zoom right into the area of your flight and you can see that line that looks just like what you saw on the air data dashboard but this time because we're in google earth we have a little bit more flexibility with sort of rotating it and having a look really where, where that is, we can zoom out and get a broader overview. And then what's super cool is we can also tilt on it. So you'll notice uh, the 3D data. So here I was, I was taking off from my home point here. That's the surface of the ground where the drone took off from. It rose up to probably just under 100 meters and then flew straight over to this area and did a little waypoint mission around. And I can pan and zoom and tilt to really see that in a 3D environment. So super cool stuff. Um, and it's not a, a table just full of numbers. It really just draws that out for you. So let's repeat that step and go to file, open, and this time we're gonna open that GPX file. So let's click open and you're gonna get a little prompt. And what you wanna do here is unclick that. So the only thing you have is the create KML tracks and we're gonna click okay. And it's gonna kind of rotate back to the first position. So go to your temporary places and just uncheck the KML data we just brought in so that that's not viewable. And now you can see, it looks like the same data, but this time the line is blue. So we sort of have the same, you know, capabilities. We can pan and zoom, and of course we can tilt as well. But this time there's a little A bar up at the top. 
So if we hit the play button, we can watch the actual line of the drone as it flies from the home point and conducts its mission flying the waypoints around that area. And it's just going to loop. And so there's another way to view the actual path of the drone flying and how it flew. Now we can go back to that play bar, just hit pause, and then we can kind of scrub as we like to jump back around to the positions and back to home. So let's tilt down a little bit and just zoom in on that so we can kind of watch it go. Here's the little, here's your drone. Let's go back here. We'll scrub along that bar and we'll see how it flies. And it did a little dipsy do there and took some photos and goes around and all the way around and back down and return to home. So we can zoom out again and totally turn the, uh, oops, turn the, takes a little practice, turn the map around. So now we have another view if this is important for some reason. And then we can zoom in and find that point in time because there is a clock so we can say you know at 11 20 a.m this is exactly where my drone was in airspace and you have all the tools of google earth so you can take your measurements and stuff but you really don't need to if you refer back to that csv file so there you have it an overview of the awesomeness of air data and importing that data into google earth and i hope that grants you drone flying superpowers in the future if you like this video please click the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel bye for now